Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad. Today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 5, lesson 1, round decimals. Page number is 303. The first example here, guys, it's very simple. Like they're asking uh, Andrew's laptop has a processor with a speed of 2.8 gigahertz. Round the processing speed of the laptop to the nearest whole number. So when they say the whole number, you have to round it to the ones place. And here you can see that 2.8 is close to 2 or 3. So of course it's close to 3. So when you round 2.8, it's 3. Okay. Now when we round, on next page I will show you how to round the numbers. See this place. Okay, for example, we are rounding this number 46.73 to the nearest tenth. The first thing, you underline the place value. Which place value? This one, the tenths. Where is tenths? Here. The seven is the tenths. Now, after underlining it, you don't check this one. You check the next number. The next number. The next number is what? Three. What you have to check in it, either it is more than 5 or equal to 5. So what you do in that case, add 1. Add 1 where? In the underlined digit. Okay? And if it is less than 5, we keep it same. What we keep same? The underlined digit. Again, guys, when we round to the nearest tenth, first we underline the place value, this place value, which they give in the question, tenths. Okay, we round it here. Then we check the next number. If the next number is greater than 5 or equal to 5, we add 1 in the underlined digit. We add 1 in 7. If the next number is less than 5, we keep the underlined digit same. Got it? So here, the next digit is less than 5. So we will keep the underlined digit same. So the answer is 46.7. You can say 0 or just 7. After the decimal, the last zeros, does it have any value? You know that. Okay? And before the underlined digit, the number stays same. And after the underlined digit, all zeros. So 46.7. Why we keep it same? Because the next number is less than 5. So the answer is 46.7. Next one here, they said round to the nearest 1. First, we underline the 1's place. Check the next number. It is more than 5 this time. So what we do when it is more than 5? We add 1 in the underlined digit. We add 1 in 8. It becomes 9. They are saying here the next number is 7, okay, more than 5. So we make the 8, 9. And you can write it 9.00 or just 9, the same thing. Next page here, independent practice. I will show you one question here and remaining all you have to do by yourself. And then you can check your answers from this video. Okay. They give you this number and the place value is hundreds. Where is hundreds? This one, the 7 is hundreds. After underlining 7, you check the next number. The next number is more than 5. So you add 1 in 7, which will be 5.48. Got it? You can write it 5.480. For the 6, you can write 0. Okay? Or 5.48 doesn't, it, uh, it doesn't have any change. It's the same thing. Okay. So remaining all questions you guys have to do it in the same way and match your answers through this video. Okay, next page now. What is the length of $10 bill to the nearest whole number? When they say the whole number in the first question I told you, it means once. 
So you underline the ones and check the next number. It's more than five. So you add one in the underlined digit. It will be 16, 16.0 or 16 centimeters. The weight of a new touchscreen device is 1.6 pounds. What is the weight to the nearest whole number? Again, ones. So underline the ones. Next number is six more than five. So you add one here in the ones. So it's two, 2.0 or two pounds. Write two different numbers that when rounded to the nearest tenth will give you this. So here I write two different numbers. When you round them to the nearest tenth, tenth is what? This place and this place. Okay. It will become 18.3. You have to give me another two examples in the comment box. That's okay. Explain what happens when you round this one to any place. When you round to any place, for example, here you add 1, so it becomes 10, and remaining all zeros, so it will be like this 10,000. Okay. Write a number that rounds to 5,000 when rounded to any place. When we round it here to any this number, to any place, it will be 5,000. In what real world situation would you want to round a number? List three examples. Large numbers like population, numbers that have a lot of decimal places like average rainfall per year, the price of an item rounded to the nearest whole dollars, okay, like we're excluding the cents. So I hope you understand the lesson. If you really understand, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Sal. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day.